This video will show you how to integrate Linmot's P1070 motor family with the Kinetics 5700 drive. First, we'll create the module for the DC bus power supply. Next, we will create the module for the dual axis drive. We now will create a new motion group. In that motion group we just created, we will create two new axes. The first will be a SIP axis that will be used for our P1070 motor. We will create another SIP axis for our DC bus power supply. We will go back to our Ethernet modules and associate the axes. We will associate our power supply axis with our power supply module. We now will associate the P1070 motor axis with the dual axis drive. We need to change the motor feedback to the universal feedback on port 1. We now can go back into our axis in the motion group and select the motor. The motor files for the P1070 family are native in version 30 and newer. In the Motor tab, we will select Catalog Number. You can search P10 to find the Linmat motors. In the file name, P10 means it's a three-phase motor. 70 is the stator diameter in millimeters, and the number following that is the active coil length. Next, we have the stroke length of the stator-slider combination. Next is the motor's cooling type, C for convection, F for fan, and W for water. D02 designates a sine cosine feedback with the PTC temperature sensor. Once you select the motor you have for your application, you can see that the data sheet has been filled out. Thanks for watching.